Hey folks, welcome to another Saturday Night with Tom Petty on the Judge Timbers channel. Folks, I gotta say, I'm getting close. I'm running down all my Tom Petty songs. Gonna run out of songs soon. So we're getting down to the wire on the Saturday Night with Tom Petty series that I've run for a while. But we're getting to some of the great songs, some of my favorite songs of all time. Um, and this is no exception. House in the Woods by Tom Petty. Of course, off his solo album called Wildflowers. If you've been watching my channel, you know it's my favorite Tom Petty album. I know it's many of yours. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite albums of all time by any artist, Wildflowers. House in the Woods, kind of a, a hidden track a little bit, or you know, a lesser known track, I'd say. Uh, but I really like this one. So let's get into it. Um, I have the guitar in standard tuning. I'm not using a capo on this. Um, I will say, obviously, this song is pretty heavy electric guitar song, so it's going to be an acoustic arrangement. So I'm not saying I'm voicing everything, playing it like Mike Campbell or Tom Petty, but I'm going to give you the chords you need to do, and you can voice this and play it however you would like. There's so many different ways to do this on acoustic guitar and electric guitar, and this is just a rhythm guitar lesson in my cover version, which I had a lot of fun recording. Um, you know, I'm just messing around with Mike Campbell's solos. I don't even try to duplicate his solos. I'm not a lead guitarist. Uh, so I'm just going to give you kind of the basic rhythm track to this and then just have fun with it. So the song is basically in three parts. So let's start with the main verse, the main, we'll call it descending pattern. We'll start with that and then we'll move on from there. So here's the first part. Uh, I'm going to play a lot of bar chords here, but you don't have to play this with bar chords, but I, I like to descend it on the neck of the guitar. Um, so again, you can play it different ways, and I'll show you some other ways. But I'm going to start with an F chord, so just an F major. I'm playing that at the 8th fret, a bar chord on the 8th fret. So an F to a C, barred at the 8th fret again. Now we're going to go to an E flat at the 6th fret, to a B flat at the 6th fret all bar chords so far. Then I'm going to go to a D minor at the 5th fret, then an A minor at the 5th fret, then a C at the 3rd fret. Notice we're going down, 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 down. And then I'm going to go to G. I'm going to go to an open G. And then I'm going to add what I call a C over G, the kind of, we're caught in a trap. That, <laughs> whatever that is, I'm going to call it a C over G. That's what I call it. So a C with the G bass, basically. Um, so you can add that if you like. So let me give you this. Uh, let me play it in more real time like the record. So, you know, this is kind of the instrumental part and when Tom's singing the verses. So F, C, E flat, B flat, D minor, A minor, to a C, and to a G. And C over G. Now you could play it F, a regular F, to a C. I'm still gonna go there for the E flat to my B flat. You could do an open D minor, open A minor, to an open C, back to G. I mean, that works fine, but I think it's really such a classic descending pattern. I think you kinda wanna walk down the neck of the guitar. But again, I'm not sure about that. It's just kinda what my ear is telling me. Um, so that's part one. That's, that's a lot of the song. There's probably, I would say 80% of the song is that descending pattern, which I love so much. Uh, and Mike Campbell's doing some great stuff with his guitar work over that descending pattern, and the bass work is nice too. Um, then we get into, you know, Oh my love, what can I do? What can I do but love you? All right, so this pretty simple second part of the song, it's C, and I walk down the bass with a B. So C, walk down one half step to a B, bass, to a G. C, walk down to G. C, walk down to G, to an A minor. I'm sorry, E minor, E minor. Got ahead of myself. E minor, to an A. And then you're back to that C, walk it down to G. C, walk down to G. C, walk down to G. Now to E minor, to A, to D. And part some parts of the song, it just ends on that D, blah, 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 and then you're back to the F. Right? So that's part two. That's it. We're heading into the final stretch here, part three of the song. So when you come out of that, to E minor, to A, now I'll just play it.
All right, so that is the third and final part of the song. So it's a D shape. And then I'm going to walk up on the A string, the fifth string. It's open uh, two, three. Oh, sorry. Let's see. I got I got to look. Open two, three. So it's you're in a D. And then on the fifth string, you just want to do that. Walk up, open two, three. And then on the fourth, the D string, at second fret, the E note, and then open D. And that just repeats again. So we'll start with the D. You play a D chord, and then walk that up. Then add the E to the D, walk it up. And then if you want to, I'm playing, it's sort of like a C add nine, basically. I'm really just playing two fingers. I'm playing at the third fret, the five and the two strings. Um, but you can play whatever you want there, really. Um, so again, you're in a D, just walk it up to a C. Then add the E, open D. And then you're back to the F. House in the Woods by Tom Petty off his great masterpiece known as Wildflowers. Uh, thank you folks for watching so much. I really appreciate it. If you've been enjoying the Saturday Night with Tom Petty uh, tutorials and covers, uh, you know, thank you for your support. As I said, I'm kind of winding down here. I'm at the, um, the last few songs I want to cover right now. Um, I might do some Tom Petty songs in the future that I missed, um, but for now I think I'm going to end the, the Saturday Night um, soon, but we got a couple more to go. Uh, thank you folks. I'll see you soon. Take care.